Hello Internet, how's it going? I'm Jan Morgenstern, I'm a film composer and sound designer from Germany, and I wanted to share a couple of news with you about an upcoming project of mine that has been in the works for a while and that I'm very excited that it's, you know, finally coming together and and getting ready to be shared with you. So, like many of my colleagues, I really like nerding out over making sounds with technology, about all the various different ways in which you can make electrons and bits sync to your tune using synthesizers, samplers, signal processors, and anything in between. There's just, you know, there's something about the idea of conjuring up new sounds from thin air that's always been just just endlessly fascinating to me. And whenever a project comes along that calls for it, I set some time aside and, and plop myself down in front of a couple synths um, and, and try to come up with a couple um, hopefully interesting signature sounds to, to add a little bit of a unique edge to the whole thing. And for the longest time, I've always been thinking, man, this this is fun. <laughs> this is I, like someday I should try just doing that for its own sake, you know, just making sounds and I don't know, selling them? So I did. Um, last year, I started running my own soundware label. It's called TreeSwift Audio, and I've recently put out my second commercial release on that, which is titled Zebra Elementals Era, which is the second part in a series of um, instrument collections for one of my personal Desert Island synths, which is Zebra 2 by Yuhi. That's not actually what I wanted to talk to you about. <laughs> what I wanted to talk about is the nerding out part, because back when I started getting serious about the whole, you know, programming my own sounds kind of thing, I noticed that the web is full of introductory information and, you know, tutorials and stuff that, that makes it fairly easy to get started and uh, teach yourself the basics. And of course, you will also find literal tens of thousands of, you know, step-by-step -step walkthroughs and, and tutorials that will tell you exactly how to put together you know, common synth sounds that, that everyone knows on, on whatever synthesizer you happen to be working on. It tends to get a little bit thinner and a little bit more difficult once you get to the point where you start trying to figure out how to actually put everything together and how to translate a sound that you hear in your head into an actual working synth structure. And also how to create sounds that don't just sound cool when you hit a key, but that also um, make sense in a musical context and that will respond well to your playing and that are controllable and malleable enough to work in a wide range of different situations and that will sit well and behave well in a mix or an arrangement. And of course, one of the best ways to teach yourself that kind of stuff is to take patches from your favorite sound designers on the synth of your choice and um, dissect them and try to work out what it is that, that makes them tick. And that's awesome. And I cannot recommend doing that enough. But I don't know about you, but whenever I do that with more complex patches, I like sooner or later, I, I come across bits and pieces that just make me go, huh? Wh wh why is that there? <laughs> and I always wish that I had the original designers around to, to hopefully tell me, oh, that, yeah, that's because, you know, insert awesome esoteric technique here that would have taken me six months to figure out on my own, right? So in a nutshell, that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm, I'm hoping that I can fill that gap a little bit. And I'm going to do that by making a series of videos where I take patches from my own libraries, starting with my Zebra work, and dissect them for you. Either starting from the point of the finalized patch and breaking it down into its components and explaining the thought process that went into everything, or by going the other way around and starting from scratch and, and trying to recreate the same patch or, or a similar patch so that you can follow along with, with the development process. At least that's the initial pitch. I'm going to be honest with you. This is the first time I'm trying anything like this. And so far, the concept has been like a napkin that says stuff that Jan would have liked to see on YouTube 15 years ago when he was searching for synth programming. So there's bound to be a little bit of flux. Um, 
I'm, I'm pretty sure that sooner rather than later, I'm going to start adding other instruments, other synths, possibly samplers into the mix. And it's also possible that at some point I'm going to transition into, into more of a generalized series of tutorials on, on various different synth techniques. Who knows where it's going to go? The one thing that I'm hoping for, of course, is that if you're tangentially interested in the topics of synth programming, sound design, um, um, synthesis technique, um, whether you're a working composer yourself or a music producer or a sound designer or a synth aficionado, that you're going to be along for the ride. And there's one more thing that I wanted to mention. Um, I said earlier that most of my commercial work so far um, has been mostly mostly on Yuhi Zebra, and that kind of makes it a natural starting point for me to start, you know, dissecting things. And uh, Zebra, for all its undeniable quirks and idiosyncrasies, is, is kind of very near and dear to my heart, just because it kind of happens to work in the same way that my brain does. But I'm also aware that it's a little bit of a niche synth and might not be the most welcoming environment for people who are just starting out. So with that in mind, um, wherever it makes sense, I am going to try and keep things as synth agnostic as possible and make explanations in a way that they are generalized enough that if you don't own Zebra yourself or if you just happen to, to prefer working on a different synth, that you will still get something out of it. All right. That's the long and short of it. I just wanted to dump all the explanatory stuff into its own video so that I have something that I can just point to in the beginning of the actual episodes and not waste 10 minutes of your time telling you what I'm about to tell you. And yeah, I'm, I, I really hope that I'm going to see you around and that you will join me for the upcoming first episode of Jan's Patchwork Corner, which I hope is at least a little bit snappier than stuff that Jan would have liked to see on YouTube 15 years ago when he was searching for synth programming. Cool. Thank you so much for watching. See you around. Hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.